Hello, everybody. I'm Odd Bob. I'll be filling in for Bunker Gamer 82 today. So I'm here. I'm going to play a video game. This here video game is called The Unknown City, Episode 1. So let's get started here. Now this game looks pretty odd. So I already likes it. Now I want to make it aware to everybody that I am wearing pants today. I put them on my leg and I button them up. And yes, they are well, they are semi-clean. They're clean enough to be acceptable. We have been traveling for more than one hour, and I think we should have reached headquarters 20 minutes ago. Now, right off the bat, I have to say, these are the best uh, graphics that I have ever witnessed in my life. Look at that car. That is a realistic looking automobile. And this road is very well lit. Very well with all those street lights. Got a beautiful forest background. Makes me think of broccoli. I enjoy eating broccoli. If you take two little broccolis and make them dance, you can make a happy little broccoli man. Okay. Okay, what? We are lost, aren't we? No. We'll take a right turn and reach the headquarters within 20 minutes. Turning right? No, no, no. I think we should take a U turn and head back. No need. Just relax. We'll reach there shortly. Is GPS talking with itself? Are there even people in this car? I don't see any heads. They sound like they're GPS. We play as an automobile in this game? I'd like to play the video game now. Stop doing that. Why are you playing with the headlights and the siren? I didn't touch anything. This stuff is happening on its own. The car seems to have broken down. How come this happened? How did the car break down? I have no idea. I think this has happened due to the time web. This isn't very good dialogue. I wonder if I'll ever be able to play said video game. I've been waiting. It won't let me do anything. I have a feeling the designers of this game may have had mental issues. Let's get out of the car and look for some help. Which is sad. Just follow me and let me do the talking. Holy moly. Hey, 
over here. Oh my goodness. I think you can over here. There's apparently no way to invert the controls, which is nice. It's nice when they don't include that in the video game. It's not like some people enjoy or need inverted controls in their video games. Okay, over here. This game feels like controlling a sweet bag of Valencia oranges, only in controller form. Is anybody there? Hello. This place is weird. I don't see anyone around here. That woman has dead eyes. She is not among the living. She's some type of space alien. Or possible zombie space alien. Is anybody there? Hello? I'll tell you this right now. I don't care for her fucking face. I am getting a bad vibe about this place. Officer, our car has broken down, and we need some help. Officer, are you alright? We need your assistance, officer. What are you doing? Why are you... I do believe he is like whacking it in the corner. He's help. playing with his medulla ombongata. Controls aren't very good. <laughs> Kelly, come and get it. Are you alright? Oh my goodness. Where are you? These may in fact be the worst controls I have ever played with in my life. Holy shit. Hey, where did Siri go?
It's a zombie apocalypse. Siri, help me. The zombies are eating me. I'm in big trouble. Possibly in Little China. This game really wants me, uh, to, uh, oh, goodness. Wants me to perish, but I won't allow it. I'll never give up. I will fight these zombies to my last breath. I really wish I had some crab ragoons. I do believe that zombie has some titties. They don't look very nice. They are not appealing. I tell you, I sure am enjoying these non-inverted controls. It makes playing the game oh so much fun. Now, a little fun fact for everybody. Did you know? If you get a box of Crayola crayons and tie each individual crayon with string that you can sexually excite yourself within five minutes. Those are the facts. Now don't ask me how. It just happens. Apparently I can't go into said building even though the door is open. Now I came in here, maybe I can go in the oh yeah. I can go in this building here. I'll tell you another really nice feature of this game is the inability to run. Okay, now there are health items in this building. So you would imagine you could go in said building, but you can't. I guess they're just a tease. That's quite funny.
These controls are similar to if you grab your ass and shake it real quick. Just grab them cheeks and, and go nuts while singing the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K. L, M, N, O, P. U, R, S. T, V. W, X. Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you play with me? I tell you, I'm starting to wish I could turn this gun on myself. This is one horrible game. I'd imagine the designer of said game uh, is probably a sadistic man. Not normal, similar to me, but just odd, strange, curious. I'll tell you what, I do believe I got more enjoyment banging my head on the wall, just banging it up against that wall. Just banging along. This game is unenjoyable, to say the least. Holy moly! There is a run button. We have discovered how to run. Oh glorious day! This game is making me depressed. I paid five dollars to get depressed. Get in that building, you son of a bitch. What in the hell?
Holy fucking shit. We've made progression in said video game. I even got a trophy. I've accomplished a great thing in my life. Well, fuck you, you goddamn zombie. Goddamn zombie bastards. This could be the end of me. I do believe I'm going... Was that a mummy? Is there a literal mummy in this game? I'm in big fucking trouble. I'll tell you what. Holy fucking shit, it's Adolf Hitler. They're eating my brains. You've got to be kidding me. I literally have to sit here and watch through this fucking intro again. This is possibly the worst fucking game ever invented. It makes me want to piss into my own face and gargle with it. I am absolutely horrified, mortified, and frankly upset that this game exists and that I paid cash money for it. I wouldn't give this video game to my worst enemy. I do believe I could make a better video game with a pencil and paper. Write little doodles on there. People to have more enjoyment playing that piece of paper than this stupid goddamn game. Okay, what? We are lost, aren't we? Yeah. And I'll tell you what else. I'll tell you what else. And reach the I make the PP standing up. I do not sit down. I stand up and I make the PP. No, no. no. I think. And I'd like to make PP all over this game, but unfortunately, it's not physical. It was a digital download. Just relax. We'll reach there shortly. I'll tell you, I refuse, I refuse to play this game anymore. Bunker Game I hated to can kiss my ass. Cause this is fucking terrible. Absolutely positively terrible. Stop doing that. Why are you playing with the headlights and the siren? This stuff is happening on its own. Fuck you, game. You're fucking terrible. Terrible, horrible game. Horrible. Skip cutscene? Are you fucking kidding me? I pressed all the buttons. There wasn't no goddamn cutscene. Skipping ability.
I'll tell you what, since I'm a good team player, and because supposedly you can skip a scene, I will give this fucking game one more try. But after that, I'm going to get back to eating sweet, sweet cheeses from the Garden of Eden. Holy fucking shit. I've actually skipped the scene. Holy moly, what the hell just happened there? Woo! I can run faster than you, bitch. You crazy-eyed bitch. I think that you're a googly-eyed crazy bitch. That's what I think. I also believe you got a flat butt. You got a flat box shaped behind. Nobody wants to talk to you, Siri. People get irritated with your nonsense. Too much jibbity jabber. I personally have Alexis. Now that's a fine woman. She has integrity. A real classy woman. I tell Alexis, I tell her, you add wine and cheeses to my shopping list, Alexis. And she goes, okay, sir. Right away. And as you all know, cheese is delicious. You can do anything with cheese. Paint houses, trim your nails. Oh... You do what I do, you, you mush that stuff in your mouth and then you swallow it. It goes inside your belly and makes you, makes your tummy a happy little, a happy little cracker. Hello there, officer. Our vehicle has broken down in the most peculiar and bizarre manner ever conceived by human beings. I don't know why we have to disturb this man from his masturbation session. I certainly don't like being disturbed when I'm uh, well, floating my goat, picking my apples, cracking my cone. Jimmy don't care, so why should I? Now these controls would be better if they weren't so bad. They kidnapped her and put her in a swimming pool. I wish I was in a swimming pool right now. I wish I was doing anything. Anything at all. Just not playing this fucking game anymore. 
That zombie runs like he has problems. Special problems. Fuck you, you zombie bastards. I'll blow your imperfect titties right off. Where the hell are all said zombies? How many goddamn shotgun blasts does it take to kill one fucking zombie? This might be the most poorly designed game I've ever witnessed. I am appalled and disturbed. And now I've just wet myself. There is a gigantic beastly of a man coming straight towards me. Die, you sons of bitches. You feel the wrath of my shotted gun. <coughs> oh, dear Lord. Fucking Gooba monster's gonna get me. I'm very scared.
Please, God, save me. Save me from these evil goober monsters. I do believe this might be a simulation of hell. This is fucking ridiculous. <coughs> this game has given me a dry throat. Well, it's official. I am totally out of ammo. They gave me a knife. I'm supposed to fight this googly monster with a knife. Come here, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna cut your janglies off. Well then. Oh, I'll let you do the talking, you son of a bitch. I'll tell you what, this intro screen is actually better than the actual video game. I would rather watch this intro screen for 30 minutes than play the actual game. That was fucking horrendous. Horrendous, stupendous, and blundendous. Well, that's the end of this video. That was The Unknown City, Episode 1. Purchased on the PlayStation Store for actual cash money. Money cash to play this. To play this horrendous pile of shit. Poo poo on you, good sir. That's what I say. Poo poo on you. I'm gonna get back to counting my various delicious cheeses from across the lands. You folks have yourself a wonderful day and please like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. Thank you very much and good day.